What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milligan, the villain for the Trilligan, and we are playing. Little Goody Two Shoes. Woo! Y'all hear her? We back on. Last episode was quite the freaking episode. Last episode, we saved some ugly little boy. We got the tender flesh from the crow. And we did a multitude of other things. Now we need to. We need to eat. We we need to eat. Holy fuck. I can't wait to finish this game so I can just go through the soundtrack. Oh lord. His gift does suit you rather hold on. His gift does suit you rather well, lass. The freak! Uh-uh! Get out of there! Go on, Satan! Those shoes, they'll guide you to him. Who are you? You know who I am, Elise. You're with him, just like that crow. Quite smart, aren't you? It's another one of his trials, I take it? Why, yes, you're truly so delightful, lass. Fortune, that's what you're after, isn't it? You've come to taunt me, I'm assuming? I've come to welcome you into my very own garden, Elise. You alone, lass. I won't let that wretched thing into my grove, unlike that fool. The testament you seek rests deep within my depths, lass, Elise. Am I to meet you there then? My, how willful you are. You're trying my patience, that's what. We both know what I'm after, serpent, so get it over with. Ouch. You're now the bearer of my hex, lassie. Fated to meet me in my realm. Show me your resolve, your burning desire for more. Be good and behave, Lise, and I'll welcome you with open arms. Sickening wretch! I'll be waiting. I'll be awaiting you by the gate, gates of my bedewed forest of berries, Elise. Oh. You, they need to stop assaulting me! To hell with you! Oh, this stings. It's best I don't alarm Rosemary. I have to prepare myself for the night. I must see this through. Elise, I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry, Elise, all right? What the freak is this? Oh, it's a cat. Uh, we got an apple strudel. I don't know how in the world you get completely full on an apple strudel, but... Oh, that's Freya, right? This is Freya? Wouldn't want a burden to be a burden, Freya. Not at all, Miss Lisbeth. It'd be my pleasure. Uh, good morning, Elise. Is everything all right? Inviting Lisbeth and the children for dinner. They were ready for that, my dear. Invitation stands, Mrs. Lisbeth. You're welcome anytime you'd like. How's that feel? Oh, Elise, I have so many questions. He hasn't slept. He, he keeps mentioning the witch. The witch? What happened in the woods, Elise? I didn't see anything resembling a witch, that's for certain. I felt so frightened, Mrs. Lisbeth. My apologies, Elise. It wasn't my intention to insinuate. That's all right, Mrs. Lisbeth. I know you meant no harm. Oh, I hope nothing else happens today. Something else is gonna happen today. Oh, lordy lord. What's cracking the lacking and dipping them dopping? Gotta clear out the blockage, folks. It's the only way. If you say so, lad. What's wrong with the fountain? It's one thing after another, isn't it, Elise? We think the fountain's obstructed is all. This is all her doing. The witch! She's taking our grain, our children. Now she's after our water. We've discussed this, old lad. Finn and I can give it a look, can't we, Finn? Did the best of our ability, but... Oh, well, him, I don't know what's wrong with it. Hmm. We're together here at noon, folks. I want to have a word with all of Kieferberg. Hmm. You'll need me to lend a hand, father? <sighs> Naturally, Gustav. What are we about to do about the grain, folks? Hmm. The grain? You haven't heard, lass? No, I'm yet to fully understand what's going on. Hmm. Someone was in the windmill last night, Elise. It could have been the wind or the crow, still. 
The door was still locked this morning, lass. It was Yuka's responsibility, but... It was the witch, I tell you. Give it a rest, old Jochen. I was told you left home early last night, Elise. She was certainly tired, old Jochen. Don't be unreasonable. It couldn't have been one of us, folks. What about the weevils? What is this? Weevils, Mr. Ludwig? The flower and grains we had stored away riddled with beetles, Elise. I'm not certain what we're to do with this grain now. All we can do is all we can avoid. All we can to avoid throwing it at her with Ludwig. Man, I, 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 I can't with these voices. I keep forgetting who's who. We'll become completely reliant on Primeldorf at this rate. That witch has us at her mercy. She has all of Kieferberg in the palm of her hand and... That's enough, folks. I've heard enough. Ben and Heimgel will take a look at the fountain later. As for the rest of us, we ought to air out that grain and, and do away with those beetles starting right now. This is only riling folks up even more. I best see if Lepkuchin's all right. Folks must be swarming her. Luddy, little goody two shoes. Love Kuchin. Goodness. Please try to keep calm, Mrs. Linda. Oh, I know, I know. Won't you have a look at my rosary, Love Kuchin? I seem to have pulled on a little too tightly this morning. That's no, that's no good, Ariane. No good at all. I'll tighten it for you, Mrs. Ariane. But first, I oughta. I can help, Lepchu Chin. Please. What are you saying, Lassie? A maid of all work can't possibly pray our blessings. We need Lepchu Chin. Oh, where's Father Hans when we need him? Uh. Father Hans has his own matters to attend to. I can. It's best you visit each and every one of our homes, Lepchu Chin. Ah, uh, that's my end too. I'll need a prayer in each every room before sunset. Ah, uh, but before then, Lepkushin, could you? Out with it! Will you folks back off a little? My Elise, can't you see where? She's about to tweet. Aw, oh, dang, she passed out. Y'all overworking her. Let the girl rest. Oh, who's going to pray our blessings now? Are you not worried about the woman passed out in front of you? You selfish whore! We must fetch Father Hans. S someone get her some water. Can you hear me? No, the poor girl done passed out. We'll be taking her home, Elise. She'll be fine. All right, Mrs. Dorothea. Why don't you pay her a visit in a little while? Of course, I'll be there. I ought to go see her. She didn't deserve any of this. And of course, Muffy ugly ass ain't gonna give a fuck about what's going on. All she give a shit about is extorting me for food. As if I'm not starving every damn day. Dumb bitch. God, fuck, nickel. It's raining apples. Guys, guys, it's raining apples. Guys, it's raining apples. I wonder if anyone's ever gotten a perfect, like they've gotten every single apple. Not only does that, I feel like that takes a lot of like finger control, you feel me? Because you gotta try and, you gotta get it. You gotta like try not to overshoot the apples. That's an A. 220 something. 154? That's good. Oh, I'm so glad you made it, Elise. And get my money. She really doesn't seem to be doing so well. Oh. 
Now that we're all gathered here, folks. Oh, we're losing our minds, father. <sighs> this week hasn't been easy for Kieferberg, as we all know. That said, we have asked, we have decided to ask Primaldorf for support. Pr Primaldorf, you say? We cannot compromise the festival at all, as you understand. Are, are you certain we've considered every option, father? Kieferberg isn't what it once was, Ludwig. We need their help. We will be patrolling the outskirts of the, in the evenings as well. That should make sleep easier, that's for certain. The protection of Kieferberg and our neighbors is in order, folks. What happened to poor Atfo was bad enough. Oh, Father, but who is to carry out our nightly prayers? Naturally, the church's doors will be open to all regardless. What about the windmill and the fountain? There's still water in the well, Wilma. No need to fret. Oh, but who knows how long that well will last? Oh, shush it! It's not as though the, the fountain is sustaining the well, is it? What would you know, Lassie? I'm at a loss regarding the fountain, if I'm honest. Wasn't there some sort of blockage, Mr. Ludwig? We're gonna have to disassemble it. Why doesn't she try it, Finn? With those toothpick fingers of hers, I'd say she'd get the job done rather easily. This isn't a time to provoke the last, Wilma. She's so keen to stick her nose in everything, Ludwig. Might as well teach her a lesson, wouldn't you say? Let's not get carried away, Wilma. We're not here to- Why, that's a terrific idea. Yeah, bitch. Watch me do this shit. Fuck, nigga. At least that's dangerous. You'll get hurt. Oh, dear lord. She's getting in there. I'll show you all. A snake, a black snake was in the fountain. Oh, Kieferberg is done for. The witch, it's the witch, the devil himself. That's enough. We can't lose our heads. We must remain calm. You folks can't calm. How are we to remain calm, father? <sighs> Everyone's dismissed, back to work. Gustav and I will have a word about this. Fucking hell, man. Don't little goody two shoes me. Ain't shit good about these two shoes, motherfucker. Let's get these shits back, bro. We need to get home or something. We can't keep doing this bullshit. Uh, at least I was looking for you, dearie. Looking for me, Mrs. Megatilde? I was hoping you'd have a word with Ariane. I've been struggling quite a bit lately, you see. Struggling with what? Oh, it's rather embarrassing, but I can no longer do many of my house chores. This terrible tremor won't let me wash my dishes or my laundry. Um, won't you tell her I needed to stop by tonight, Elise? I would tell her myself, but this would be the fourth time this week, you see? Of course, I'll let her know. Where the hell can I find- Oh, fucking Muffy's bitch ass. Y'all see how much money this is taking from me, dog? Like, do I look like I got money to just spend on this bitch? On oh, everything, she was right there. Where did she go? Do you want the food or not? Got me over here searching for you. Muffy. It's you. <laughs> I have an offer for you, Elise. For Out of my sight, Martha. I've had enough trouble for one day. Oh, but I think you'd like to hear this. So. Out with it then. I don't have all day. But, but it wouldn't be for free. How about you give me some hearty soup? Huh. Well, I don't think so, Muffs. Ooh. We had an agreement, Elise. Just give it a shit. Uh. You're lucky I don't want any trouble, Mindy. Out with it now. What did you have to tell me? Uh. Oh, you're so generous. Out with it, Out with it Mary! You don't have to threaten me. You threaten me every day, you little bitch. I heard my auntie talking about a search. A search? Folks are losing their minds over that certain serpent you pulled out of the fountain. They want they want to search everyone in town. I'll put in a good word for you, Elise. But you ought to promise you'll bring me some apple strudel tomorrow. That costs so much money! I just went broke buying that! I 
I just went broke. I'm poor. I'm poor. I don't got money to spend money. There she is. Kick her off. You were right, Elise. It really is a lovely view. You've seen better on your travels, I'd wager. Oh, but Kieferberg is one of the nicest towns I've been to. Trying to vex me, are you? Oh, I didn't mean to. I know you didn't, Rosemarie. I'm fed up with it, that's all. With Kieferberg? With all this nonsense we're dealing with, too. That's sad. I still haven't made up my mind about leaving it all behind somehow. I'm going to such lengths, and yet... I'd say doubting yourself is a good thing. You're different, Rosemarine. You've always had something to look forward to while I... Even so, Elise. I find myself thinking about certain things living here with you. Such as... How I wish I found you sooner and... Have the chance to share memories with you. Just the way Lepkuchin and Freya do. You've only been here a few days, Rosemary. Had you been born here, you'd be just as sick of it as I am. I suppose, but I've never lived in a town. This sense of community is something I've never experienced. I've lived here all my life and never experienced it either, Rosemary. Not since Granny Holly passed away, at least. You know, I... Say, Rosemary, and all the stars you keep mentioning. Uh, yes. Oh, I can tell you all about it, Elise. This rotten Kiefer bird. I've had enough of this conversation. I'm heading back to work. Something tells me I'm like... I'm, I'm like fumbling. All right, I'm gonna say this instead. I'm gonna see how it works. All this nonsense about your fate being with me. Not at all, Elise. I've said it before, you feel like home to me. Not at all, huh? I do wish I was born here if I'm entirely honest. I've come all this way and our paths have finally crossed yet. Me too, Rosemary. I feel at home with you like I've known you for a long time. I must say, Kieferberg isn't as bad with you around. Won't you give me your hand? For goodness sake. You've read it once already, haven't you? I could be more thorough. It may give you some peace of mind. All right, all right. Rosemary, it's fate, You're my fated soulmate, Elise. For goodness sake. Good grief, you said that already. Oh. I know you still don't quite believe me, but my feelings for you are genuine, Elise. For sake. You hardly know me. Your feelings can't possibly be. Yet they are, Elise. They're very much genuine. So embarrassing. Wish we had more time to get to know each other, and even if this wasn't my fate, I would still choose to be with you, Elise. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, Elise, you're right as a beat. Are you? I've had it with this nonsense. I'm heading back to work. Wait for me, Elise. Let's go to the creek tomorrow afternoon. I'll be there, now hurry up! So I've really just been fumbling, bro. I knew it. Elise, do you have a moment? For goodness sake, what now? See, Elise, we've been wondering. It's best we don't, Ariane. What's the matter? Your cousin was telling us about how she got to Kieferberg, you see. Is it true she came all this way on foot, Elise? On foot, Mrs. Odelli? I don't recall. We wouldn't want to fret, but we thought that was very strange. Your cousin is being honest with you, lass. Uh, there was another thing we wanted to ask you. She told us to light a candle and keep the witch away, Elise. She wants to help us all. That's nothing but an old wives' tale, Mrs. O'Dilly. 
I'll have a word with her, but she meant no harm, I'm certain. I'll be on my way now, ladies. Good night. Rose Marina's about to get punched in her damn face. What in the Lord's name are you doing out here, Levkachin? Waiting for your earful, it seems. I would have met you inside, for goodness sake. I'm fine, Elise. You're making too much of it. Your bread. You're out of your mind, Lev. Speaking of which, Elise, folks have been rather tense lately. I've noticed. I know you can look after yourself, but one good deed won't shield you from all of it, Elise. What do you mean? Folks have been talking ill about each other all day, I... Even Miss Mar Marielle hasn't been spared, you see. There's no need to fret, Lev. I'll make certain I hold my tongue. Make certain you stay at, stay home as well. Has she noticed I've been wandering about at night? Elise? Of course, Lev, and you need to stop fretting. We don't want you fainting again. I will, in due time. Dear Lord. Hey, maybe you should take your advice and stop running around every freaking where. Huh? You think so, maybe? Ah, oh, Elise, welcome home. For goodness sake. What's Flock doing inside, Rosemarine? Oh, I'm sorry. I was about to take him out to the granary. Is everything all right, Elise? I'm tired is all. I'm not sure I should mention that serpent. Talking to Rosemarine sometimes does more harm than good. I'm sorry, I... You're thinking of something, aren't you? you know, I... I'll be heading out after supper, Rosemarine. I was invited. Where to? By whom? <laughs> By a serpent. Just the same as that crow, it invited me to its grove. Oh, I'm so glad. That's wonderful, Elise. I suppose. Oh. I'll be staying home this evening if that's all right. Things didn't go quite well last time, did they? This is your fate, Elise. It was wrong of me to interfere. This is something you're to do for you and you alone. <laughs> you're right. For goodness sake. What is it, Flock? Can't you settle down? I'll take him outside, at least. He's been a little restless. And then we can have supper. A little too restless for my liking. I can hardly think with that goat hopping about. Say, Rosemarine. I was just about to head inside. That's all right. I don't have much of an appetite anyhow. You don't have to justify yourself to me, Elise. No, I truly don't feel like eating, Rosemarine. It's been... You've been rather secretive for a reason, I can tell. You don't have to tell me what happened yesterday, or even about tonight, Elise. I suppose. As long as you're careful. As careful as I can be, anyhow. As careful as you need to be, Elise. All right, all right, for goodness sake. I trust, to, I trust you to do what you feel is best for you, all right? Thank you, Rosemary. I need to know if there's a way that we could just not do this, bro. All right, here we go. I had to, I just had to go down here, start silly hour. Oh. This is not a place that I think I would like to be at. Ugh. Can you feel it, Lass? My neck! It aches, doesn't it? That kiss of mine. You wretch, what did you do to me? You did well in finding me in these depths. What is this? Something's writhing. Come to me, lass. Sink deeper. 
I'll give you nothing less than what you seek. That serpent's dangerous. I don't like it one bit. Portion and knife. I'd best think twice before using this. Could be another way around. What's that? This gate's so heavy looking. I'm not strong enough to push it open. Oh, another porcelain knife. I assume it's a one use item. Ew. What in the? It moved. I'm safe. Whatever that thing is, doesn't seem to follow me on solid ground. Slut. Uh-uh. I'm safe. Freya? Oh shit. Got a little too close to it. Got a tiny bit too close to it. What happened? Why are you mad? All right. What in the Lord's name was that noise? Oh, a golden girl. Oh, how foolish I was to think he would have granted me all my heart desires. He didn't? I faltered in my resolve and my determination. If only I had taken that last step. Why didn't you? You will know in time. Suppose I will. She faltered in her resolve, was it? Disturbed solely by the endless water stream, the moon's reflection graces its surface in everlasting companionship. I'm telling you, you're gonna have to sacrifice the person that you love to get what you desire. You're gonna have to sacrifice the person you love. And she wasn't able to do that. So she didn't get what she wanted. I'm telling you right now, that's what it's gonna be. Uh, stop water dropping on my face. Lost in thought. All these dang snakes, bro. Shut up. Nothing over here. Just keep going this way, yeah. Hi. I knew you'd show up sooner or later, lass. Out with it. Why don't we get this over with, serpent? Where's the testament you promised me? My, I don't see the need to rush. I'm already bearing the sting of your bite, serpent. What else is it you want from me? You received his gift, shared your flesh with that oaf of a crow. 
It is now my turn to partake, Lassie. It stings, doesn't it? What did you do to me, you wretch? Come find me on the farther side of these gates. Show me your resolve. Traverse these depths. Only then shall I give you what you want. Wait! Won't you at least tell me your name, Serpent? Uh, Azael. Uh, I don't like that. That sounds like some demonic shit. This is such an odd lock. How am I going to get it open, I wonder? Some sort of key. Run! Well, shit. For heaven's sake. I'll go mad if I stay here any longer. You too will be bathed in gold, lass. All who meet him share the same fate. Did he not grant your wish? We golden maidens belong to him, lass. Regardless of whether it is your wish he's granted or if you were gifted to him. What? To think I was once in your shoes. Gifted to him. Imagine if Rosemarine is like tricking us. And she's actually like, um, she's actually like tricking us and sacrificing us to him. Why we're a gift. We're the gift. She's sacrificing us to him. Imagine. That'd be a crazy ass plot twist. That's a snake. Lebkuhin. Lebkuchin. However you say it. Lebkuchin. 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 That couldn't be her. That's a fucking snake. Come, lass. Your goodness is much needed. My goodness, you say? I know what you seek in these depths. That serpent! The key to its burrow, yes. And this woodland, guarded by the masked beast, it's, it's, is its second half. What about the first half? Make your way deeper into the lagoon, and I'll surrender it to you. What lagoon? Wait! For goodness sake. The broken ones have the max in them, I assume. So let's not break those. I can't see what's at the bottom. Let's not get too close to that... Oh, snap. I got the knife. Howdy. Don't mind me, just... Ah! Okay, what's over this way? Oh my goodness, this one is actually pretty nerve-wracking.
This ought to be it. I best find the other one. Right here. All right. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot. I'm like so locked in. Am I going the right way? Looks like it. Let's keep going. I do not want to have to do this all do it do do any of this again. This takes too much focus. I don't like it. You again. Come, lass. You ought to keep your word. I have my doubts as to whether you'll keep yours. Follow the moonlight and you shall receive its graces. Okay, we did it. You've come to our rescue. Rescue? My other half has been shattered into three, left to rot in these depths. I beg of you, find the great statues, uncover where they've kept my other half. You're giving me the other half of this key, surely? I'm not about to wander this lagoon with no purpose. I have what you seek, yes. Find my other half, put it to rest, and I shall aid you as well. You best keep your word. These moon faces, I wonder what they're for. So one down there, one right there, and one right there, I assume. What's this? Take heed. Drowning in internally rushing water, such is our fate. In limbo we remain, doomed to gaze upon the moon's eternal crescent. Whatever the fuck that means. I ought to find something resembling a water current. These touches are rather demanding, aren't they? Is this it? No? Okay. What do you need to talk about? Take heed. Pour all that is your passion into his six vessels, lass. Pursue his blessing at the peak of luminescence and you too shall drown in his allure. What the fuck does that mean? What you got? What you got for me? Take heed. One's path nothing but a reflection of one's ungodliness. Only in the embrace of the new moon may one purify their sins. That's the most sensible one yet. New moon. Where's the new moon at? It's down that way. All right. Come on, just go. Oh, a golden girl. Cruel, aren't you? Huh? Is your wish truly worth what you're sacrificing? I don't think I've seen any of your business. You've been branded already, have you? What's with all these questions? My, I'm just trying to tell you. I know I made plenty, but so did the rest of us. I have no intention of ending up like a lot of you. We'll meet again then, sooner rather than later. Elise, Elise, I really recommend that you listen to these to, to these ladies. This reminds me of um, what was it? Five Nights at Candy's Three, when you had to travel through the dream world, and if you weren't stepping on the little the little sparkly places, monsters would come and get you. 
Oh, snap. So this is the reflection a statue mentioned. Suppose I best solve the other great statue's riddles. Man, I'm trying to get back to that spot. What the, the freak is this? The freak is this? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't know what that is. So I ain't going nowhere near it. I'll keep it in mind though. Half moon. When I see this go up. Alright. That might be important. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. Found it. Let's go. The rushing waters, huh? Suppose I best solve the other great statues rituals. Peak of luminescence. That would be a full moon, wouldn't it? That vision, it's the spirit's second half. Mm. Ought to go find it, I suppose. I beg of you, lass. I wish to be reunited with my innocence. Keep me company. Don't leave me by my lonesome. All right, come along. I'll take you there. You, you, you're annoying. Okay, he'll wait for me. All right, that's really good. I was thinking that he was just gonna freaking dip out, bro. Woo! All right, that wasn't too hard. We owe you our everlasting gratitude. May you receive his blessing. Stray not from your destined path. Mm. Suppose this is the key I'm missing. Stray not from my destined path, huh? What? what is this? A corridor? We're awaiting you beyond the Crimson Bridge. No choice but to go through here, I suppose. Oh my goodness, y'all are some assholes. Rosemarine? Rosemarine? Wait. Rosemarine, wait. That was anxiety, bro. At first I thought they were friendly, like, you know, they weren't gonna do nothing to me. I'm I'm back here. I'm back here. I'm losing my wits in this maze. That work. Like this PWC, it's a co work. Keep the heat under your seat. I gotta. Phone call, say that somebody dissing, you want some attention, they come with extensions. <laughs> right, let's get out of here, bro.
I'm about hungry too. Oh snap, I'm skipping. I can't move. I'm paralyzed. He speaks not but the truth. Fortune runs in your blood, lass. It's you again, you wretched serpent. I can feel its warmth. How deeply you ache for this wish of yours, lass. Can you feel it? The venom of mine reaching down to your fingertips? I'm burning. What are you doing to me, you wretch? This fear residing in you is merely a pebble in your path. It's, it is your coronation you're conceiving. One tribute at a time, and thus, you ought to keep faith in his word. As it is he who's to honor your name, and you who is to reunite with him at the peak of the full moon. Reunite? I've never met him! Embrace it, Elise. Your most vile lust for sovereignty, your thirst for promiscuous blasphemy. Lebkuhin, what are you saying? Pursue it, Elise. I ache to drink from your venom and bask in your glory. My glory? Your most vile thirst for extravagance. Your devotion to opulence. I ache to dine on your flesh and bathe in your radiance. Let me go, you! Embosom it, Elise. Your fearless lust for all that shines gold. Allow me, Elise. To endow you with all that is my being and my purpose. I ache to adore your name, your beauty. I yearn for the taste of your venom. Savor it, Elise. Revel in it, Elise. Indulge it, Elise. By his deliverance, by chastity of your heredity. As I bear witness. So be it. That's the final testament. My whole body is aching. Rosemary, Leb Kuchin, and Freya, they were all. It's this dream again, but I. When did I fall asleep? There's words forming down there, isn't there? Could have swore I saw it. Are you deaf? You wanna hurry now or you'll miss it? Miss what? Hurry now, hurry now! I'm actually about to go insane. <laughs> I'm about to go insane. All these, oh, what? Those are the fireflies with the golden girls. Why are they all around me? The Testament. Oh, it's in my pocket. The thing last night really happened. I'd best go find Rosemary.
Yeah, so the the golden girls really are the fireflies, huh? Oh, she's dead! What in the Lord's name? Good morning, Elise. Good thing you're here, Elise. Why is this goat in my house? Uh, I brought Flock in because of the rain, you see. He's well behaved anyhow, aren't you, Flock? I see. It's raining? Uh, yes. Oh, you hadn't noticed? Hmm. All right, well, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, I... You went out last night. I did. I got the second testament, I suppose. <laughs> oh, Elise, you can prepare the gift now. I was starting to fret because you've been avoiding talking about it. There isn't much to talk about, Rosemary. Ever since we went there together, you've become a little... You said it yourself, didn't you? That I ought to do this myself for my own sake and... Well, I didn't mean, you know... You're right, Elise. It truly does only concern you. Going to the woodland with you on Tuesday wasn't... Shut up! Dang! You agree, don't you, Flock? For goodness sake. He's a goat, Rosemarine. <laughs> Dog. They playing with me, bro. I'm not I'm about to punch my freaking screen, bro. I'm I'm about to reach through this dang screen to beat the crap out this freaking goat, bro. He pissing me off. Like, shut up. Anyhow, it's best we move along before it gets late. You filthy goat! Kill yourself! Finish in no time. Granny out going strolls in the rain. We ought to embrace. What is that? What is that? Yo, drink the oil, bro! Drink the oil! They got demons after me. Drink the oil. <laughs> they got these dang demons after me, bro. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoy, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll read them all. Tap into the next one. I think I'm about at the end of the game, huh? I'm just about at the end, it looks like. Well, I hope y'all are enjoying the series. Uh, I think after I finish this, I'm going to go in and hop on V3. I'm going to start recording that. Because, um... Danganronpa is almost at Danganronpa 2 is almost at its end. Goodbye despair. About to say goodbye to despair soon. So peace out. I love y'all tapping.